A firestorm erupts after federal immigration agents ask for employment records at a Baltimore restaurant. Tonight, immigrant advocates claim more businesses are being targeted, and they say that has a chilling impact on local business. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren stays on the story live in Canton with more on what's at stake. Mike? Jessica, one union leader says that more businesses won't go public about what's happening out of fear. He says they won't be able to fill open positions. But others say no one should be worried as long as they're following the law. New fallout after more than 30 workers at Baltimore's Boathouse restaurant quit their jobs just hours after immigration officials demanded their employment eligibility verification. Managers just turned over these forms known as I-9s to the federal government, and worker advocates believe similar scenes are playing out at restaurants across the area, rarely brought to light because most owners and workers keep things hush-hush, fearing the Fed's wrath. A lot of businesses are obviously not going to report it because they're scared they'll be targeted. A lot of workers won't come out because they're afraid they're going to get detained. People are just going from one job to the next. People are switching jobs. Uh, but the boathouse incident in Baltimore is just the one that was reported on this. This is happening all around the country. In Chicago, a hospitality workers union put out a song telling members what to do if they're confronted. In Michigan, immigration agents recently ate breakfast and ended up questioning and arresting three workers at the restaurant. As a business owner, um, you know, this is really a sanctuary for our employees and it's, you know, our responsibility to keep them safe and protected. WJZ has also gotten a lot of feedback on social media on the other side as well. People saying these workers need to play by the rules and follow the law. And they have no problem with the federal government enforcing that. Throwing them the hell out of our country. The president's hardline stance has gone hand in hand with the escalating enforcement. That's how the legal manager for immigrant advocacy group CASA sees it. Where they've been out on the street racially profiling people, now they're moving into the workplace trying to scare people away. Immigrants who work um, in the back of the house, sort of cleaning dishes, preparing food, doing everything you need to have a restaurant be successful. Without them, they can't move forward. And the owner of the boathouse maintains that he was in full compliance with the law. He was supposed to turn over all those records to federal officials today. Jessica? All right, Mike, thank you. Immigration officials tell us they won't comment on investigations.